welcome to another episode of 4-3 Productions. I'm doing a bit of street photography today. I'm in Croydon, just at the train station. So what I'm trying to show you guys is you don't have to actually go far out of your local area to get some amazing photography. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bit of a video record around to show you what, what the area is like. And then I'm gonna show you a couple of shots and this is a chance for you guys to give me a bit of feedback on the work that I've done. But overall, it's looking at an area, but also when you, before you start taking photos, the one thing I suggest is just to do a general walk around to get the feel of the area instead of just going off and shooting straight away. That means it's allowing you to plan your shots, just not taking randomly. So let's do the walk around. very interesting about this place is you've got the leading lines of the rails, you've got this very colourful artwork back here with the rabbit and the hat. Like it just makes it really pop off the background of the trees, the rails, everything is leading in this frame will be leading to that rabbit. And also if you come this way, you can see from down here, under here. Right. You see the Mona Lisa down down the bottom there? We're gonna have a quick walk over to here and show you what I, what I think is really cool. It'll be quite interesting concept as well. Because the fact that you got the Mona Lisa here, right over here in the corner, as we're doing the walkthrough with the video before, I think that's gonna be a really cool concept to shoot that I'm gonna shoot and all the artwork just above here is just, and all the artwork just above here is just absolutely amazing and astonishing. So I'm gonna go shoot this bit here. You'll see the snap straight afterwards. And then I'll come back on camera. Right, guys I'm gonna show you a couple more shots that I've taken at the train station and when shooting in public there is two rules one be polite and don't be afraid to explain what you're doing and what you're doing with the camera and what type of shots you're after to the public because the more that you educate people about what you're doing the more they're gonna respect you and also if people do not want to be in the photo don't just take it and go oh it falls under the act of street photography just be considerate and you'll be surprised the next time you run into that person, they might want you to take a shot or they might tell their friend about you that you're being considerate. Just remember, as photographers, we wanna be showing the world, not being the pest. So what I'm shooting here, right, is I'm looking for leading lines or waiting for a train to come past where I can get that nice blurred motion. So since I'm shooting at broad daylight and I'm not using any ND filters, I'm basically going to be shooting at f22 and the best I can get without being overexposed is probably about four seconds. But that four seconds is going to allow me to get that nice blurred motion of the train when it comes past, as you'll see in a moment. So we'll quickly cut to that. Alright guys, you've seen those shots. I really hope that you've taken something out of this video and don't be afraid to comment below to give me feedback as well. Because part of growing as a photographer is seeing feedback and responding well to it. So I hope you guys have a really nice day. Remember the rules, respect the people around you and they will respect you. Alright guys, have a good one. Peace. <laughs> 